provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Utah Utes, taking on the 23rd ranked team in the land, the Colorado Buffaloes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Utes will kick it away to start. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Buffaloes offense takes the field for the first time today. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling. The temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Wide receiver shows motion. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series, but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know what makes the grab on the right afterburners coming and they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down i know it's early in the game but defensively after that play you know you have to tackle the catch when this guy gets the ball in his hands he is so dangerous after the fact so it's okay for him to make catches you just got to get him to the ground quickly Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of delay game. game. Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four, and he's down at the 12. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. The gift to the back. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Pressure coming. Just gets rid of it before the heat. And the third down pass is incomplete. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send out Number the field goal unit. Field goal. And he'll try it from the right hash, and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. Splits the uprights. Good. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've gotten the lead. Head coach has to be happy. They'll kick it away after putting
putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Utah Utes offense will get the ball for the first time. When you have a weapon like this on the outside, and a guy in the secondary whose job is to take everything away, it's going to be a great matchup, guys. It's so fun to see how you attack great safeties in the middle of the field. Are you willing to do that, or are you going to try to live on the perimeter? This offensive matchup will be great. Yeah, normally you'd say receiver versus safety, the receiver's going to win. This safety, though, has got the speed to run with this guy, and he's going to make it interesting back there. That last completion sets him up on second down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Spins away from the defense. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Utes come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Utah! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass, this quarterback getting a little bit of confidence, this passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Utah has the lead here. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. Well, the physicality of the secondary on defense, that defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They'll try to get it through the air. Grab behind the line. It's Hunter. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run third down a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open who do you trust the most no it's not about the x's and the o's it's about the jimmies and the joes and when my guy's better than you and i get you matched up out wide and i know i trust you i'm finding you trying the left side nice solid form tackle from this sophomore they're strong 
and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. On second down, wants to throw. And the quarterback is snowed under. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Trying to get to him. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Buffaloes no, line up to punt it away. Oh, it this will be their first punt of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Utah offense returns, ready to go back on the attack. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. First down for this offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Wilson to pass. Finds a tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Tommy. Yeah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival, you get those bragging rights, Palmer. It is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Keithy. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. The completion short of the sticks, it's second down. Feeling some heat. They're trying to get to it. And they got him for the sack. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. Conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Finds his man. It's Parks. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. And I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Not going to take a chance to grab that one as it bounces out of bounds. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. 
This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Palmer. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. All teed up and ready to go here in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trap. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them on the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. A third and long coming up here. Wilson will throw. Fires to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run right after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. The Utes are rolling down the field. He'll do it himself. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. Clock winds inside a minute to play here in the third. Using his legs, it's Bernard. And the youth have enough for the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. To the ground. He's got it again. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage.
Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Utah has the lead here. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Quickly to the tight end. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Lisa. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Wilson to pass. Unloads to the wideout. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. After that incompletion on third and short, it's going to be an interesting decision for the head coach because I know he believes in his guys to go get it here on fourth down and pad the lead, but if you kick a field goal, you make it a two-possession game here in the second half, and I think that's the right decision. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And this one splits the uprights. Well, that's a huge kick right there because now the opponent has to score a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. That put so much pressure on the opponent now. Nice job by the special teams going out and executing in a big moment. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. He'll take the deep shot. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. And this is why coaches get paid the big bucks. Tough decision on your own side of the field. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Is it go time now, or do I trust my defense? And the Buffaloes will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for, but a flag is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Nothing to kick the kicker. Defense. defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps this drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. The throw to the outside is complete. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Now, oftentimes, these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Trying to convert this second and short to the air. It's Sanders. Got a man. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy, that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. 
And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. Tackle is made at the 27. Let's give him 10 yards on the play, and it is enough for a first down. Tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. The quarterback took the steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They pieced together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. He just about put this game away if he'd been able to hold on to that one. Instead, it's second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw at Sanders. Fires to the tight end. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. He'll just keep slinging it. Snags it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Buffalo! And great job executing the offense did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Do you want to kick it, tie it up? I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter. You probably want to do that, but you could push the envelope. You could go for two and try to take the lead. Getting set for the point after. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score, and they closed the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. Comes out throwing on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Pittman. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Wilson will throw. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but if things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. The Utes will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. 
The offense really couldn't ask for much more than this, Jesse. You're right. With this much time on the clock, David, the playbook's wide open. You don't have to just be throwing it every down. You can sprinkle in some runs, too. Yeah, and you find out what your quarterback's about. Big time, prime time moment. You got the ball, tie game. You want to go win? Make some plays for me, big dog. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Trying to beat the D deep. Bennett slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming, so they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they are going to try to get to him with pressure, pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. You better get rid of this one quick. On third down, going up top. Wide open downfield. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Hand off to the single back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. Timeout, Colorado. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And it all comes down to this. Make or miss, win or lose. Oh, let the good times 